I agree with you 100 percent. Jillian, thank you. All right. Well, is Wall Street going all in for the Democrats? New data showing the street the street contributing over $20 million more for Democrats than Republicans. This despite a growing list of economic achievement under President Trump's watch, like historic tax cuts, record low unemployment, a manufacturing comeback, and even a boom for the Dow. So what gives on, the, on those donations, and should Republicans be doing a better job at selling these types of wins, including deregulation? Here to react, Melissa Armo, owner of the Stock Swoosh. Melissa, thanks for being here this morning. So the headlines read, you know, Wall Street's giving to Democrats. But you say there's more underneath that headline. Fake, 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 fake news. <laughs> and here's why. If you read the headlines, it assumes that Wall Street wants the Democrats to take control of Congress or even the House. But that's not why they're giving money. They're giving money. It's true they're giving money. They're giving money to Republicans and Democrats. But they're doing it because they're concerned that the Democrats are going to win the House. And therefore, they're going to need allies when some of these deregulation things come up. They need people in there on their side. And But if you look at Wall Street, it's absolutely ridiculous and that's why I said it's fake news mm. to say that Wall Street doesn't want uh, you know the it, things to continue the way that they've been under Trump because the market has rallied huge since Trump sure. and, and I encourage people to look at their 401k statements from September 2016 to September 2018 before you go into the polls and vote and look at your 401k if it's up if you've made anywhere close to 30 percent or more then why wouldn't you vote Republican? So Wall Street's saying we're concerned Dem Democrats will be the ones writing the regulations in the House now. Yes. So we're going to give to them so we have a seat, seat at the table. Yes. But what do, they, what do they think a Democratic takeover would actually do for their markets? So if the Democrats did win, wouldn't that actually hurt their bottom line? I don't, I don't know if they don't care. They've made money, too. That's what doesn't make any sense. Wall Street has made a huge amount of money, but so have American people who've had for a 401ks. And sure. anyone that's had a 401k has made money just simply by being in the market. The S&P is up close to 40 percent. The Dow is up close to 40 percent. The Dow just made brand new all-time highs on October 3rd. So, and the president has said, if you like these markets, then you better elect Republicans. He was right. If the Republicans win the House, does that help the markets? I think that, here's what I think, how I think it's going to play out. I think because all the assumptions are that the Democrats are going to win the House, if in fact they don't and they're wrong, just like they were wrong about Hillary Clinton sure. winning the election. And remember, the market was down huge the night of the election. It was the futures were down enormously huge. And then all of a sudden, by the end of the time when Trump won the next day, it rallied. And we have rallied every single day since Trump mm. got elected. He's taken credit for it, and rightfully so. Well, the market's like tax cuts. Right. The so here's like what I think is going to happen. If this plays out that every Everybody is wrong, and the Republicans keep control of Congress. I think you're going to see a huge surge in the market coming into next week. And so, can those Wall Street execs get their donations back if that happens? <laughs> I don't Probably think so. not, right? I don't think they're going to care if it ends up being that's if, true. If things work then, out. Then, yeah. Then their 401ks are looking good too. Melissa Armel, thank you very much for your thank time. You. We appreciate it. All right. Well, still ahead, White House Director of Strategic Communications Mercedes Schlapp joins us live. Plus, if you read the headlines like we were just talking about, you'd think Republicans are doomed to hold the House. But this is what happened the last time the Democrats predicted a victory for Hillary. So will history repeat itself in 2018? We'll answer that question for you.